Hello and welcome again. We are the Great Gamers Can Eat. I'm the Bandit. I am Chaos Fairy. I'm Quipkin. And today we're playing Batman Arkham Asylum. Part like, what, 36? Something like that. I just quit keeping track now. And last episode I beat up some baddies. And in this episode we'll probably beat up some more. Two hostels. I don't know where they're at. They're at the entrance. Oh. Kill them. Kill them, Dave. Oh, wait. I mean, unconscious them. Because Batman doesn't kill. Is there a riddle behind that wall over there? Um, possibly. Bump. <clears throat> There is. They also had some video games. I don't remember what systems they were on, but they were based in the animated series universe. We used to play the Batman animated series game on the Super Nintendo. Yeah, but they made some other ones too. Like one was called Batman Vengeance, and there was another one that was before that, I think. I don't know, the one on the Super Nintendo was pimp. There's one on the Sega too, which was different than the one on the Super Nintendo. Yeah. I think it had worse reviews than the one on the Super Nintendo. I love the one on the Super Nintendo. <clears throat> I I got yeah. really far. I got to like where you had to fight all the bosses in the game. But I could never beat that level. Well where am I supposed to be going? Um, I think I'm going the right way. I believe so. Darn you, Joker, leaving presents everywhere. I remember the game for the Super Nintendo where when you uh, fought the Joker, it was on the roller coaster. And I actually remember the episode that's off of. Do you remember the episode where... Uh, he takes that kid, or well, the kid wants to be like the Joker. Yeah. That's the episode where the roller coaster comes from. Yeah. And then there's the penguin level, which you actually get to play with Robin. It's like a really detective-y level. I like that one, too. Yeah, that was that the one at the museum. Mm-hmm. And you have to, like, <coughs> search for stuff. And then there's a scarecrow one. That I hated one. that level. Like, I would get past it every now and then. Oh, you jumped right into him. Not on purpose. I know, not on purpose, but jeez. He's sending a token of his displeasure. What a token. Oh, oh no. shit! Oh! <clears throat> well. Because, do you remember that scarecrow level? You had to grapple all the way around the dead That was blimp. hard. And there's only a couple times I got past it because it's I, so hard. I don't hard. think I ever did. I know there was a cat on level too. Yeah, that was uh, one of my favorite levels too because you had to chase Catwoman through the level. the uh, Batman Vengeance my for... Turn. Well, it looks like it's not my turn anymore. <laughs> I played the Batman Dang Vengeance Titans. for uh, Game Boy Advance or something like that. That was pretty fun. <laughs> you got to drive the Batmobile and stuff in that game. And since it's based off the animated series, it was a really cool Batmobile. It's unfathomable for me now. Like, what we... like how far games have come since they first originally started. Yeah, you go look at like uh, the Atari, you're like, whoa, this sucks. Well, I wouldn't exactly say Atari sucks. I, I will rephrase this. It's retro. For now, for today's standards, it does suck. But at the time, that was pretty awesome. Things you could do. He still got me. And then when the Nintendo came out, just damn. Yeah, hit him again. 
There's actually an achievement for uh, getting a combo with while riding the Titan. I think it's called Titan Rodeo, actually. Got it. Free show rodeo. Yeah, there you go. Miss that guy completely. Thing about the Batman video games, a lot of them are hit or miss. Like you can have a person that really loves the game, but there's also that person that really hates the game. Except for the game I mentioned earlier, Dark Tomorrow, I don't think anybody liked that game. There's always that one person that likes a dumb game, you know? The only redeeming factor, from what I can see, for that game is Batman. Like, you want to be Batman, but... I've just heard some horrible things about it. About which one? Uh, Dark Tomorrow. Oh, the, the one before Batman Vengeance was like Rise of Sinzu or something like that. Why are there so many people? I don't think I'm going to be able to do this. I think it'll be easier after you take out the Titan. I'm still, I don't have enough health to make it through it though. Then there's also the uh, Superman games, which. So. Yeah, there's not. The N64 really rough. Those really aren't hit or miss, those are just terrible. Most of them. I haven't played uh, Superman Returns, though it could be decent. From Superman with love. Spider-Man games, though. I like Spider-Man games. I like the newest PS2 one that they came out with. Mm -hmm. you know, that one was good. What, Spider-Man 2? I think so. It was where you actually had to actually shoot your web to yeah. objects and not just random clouds in the sky. It's often called the Grand Theft Auto or Spider-Man games. Like what? So the wrap people up. And you had free roam. To go as you please, you know. Ah. Oh, there was more people that showed up too. God, I hate them so much. Hulk games are always fun because you know you can like destroy anything you want. You make boxing gloves out of cars. <laughs> you can do that in one of them, can't you? I think so. Was it? Was there one on the Xbox? I think there was. I don't know. I remember that one with Eric Bana. There's just, like, you're just so much better at fighting this one than I am. Because you can take out those Titans like they're. Who's so you use? Well, they are. Or is it you? Oh, there went his ankle. Believe me from experience, that's not fun. <laughs> Grr, I make swipe. Oh my gosh, that guy got killed. <laughs> he totally shorted out that. Can't see. <clears throat> See, it's some bull crap. Let's just throw some more in there. Oh! I didn't even see that coming. What I didn't do? either. He threw bodies. I didn't know I could do that. It's kind of awesome.
Captain Tank should be able to clean out more people than he does. We can certainly clean out Batman. Oh, you got the 20, huh? It's kind of comical. Like, derp, 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 derp. I'm gonna die. There's no way I can live. In the mouth. At least it was a Titan that took you down, so some bull crap turn. Well, you know. And this is where we like, end this one. And like Arkham Knight now, since I'm used to it, it's got a much better free flow combo. Don't go to that door. Or Arkham City, it's also got a better free flow system because this one wasn't. It was their first attempt at it. Which I'm not saying it's not my fault that I died. It was definitely my fault that I sucked at it. Oh, run! But still, the Arkham City and Arkham Knight games are way better with the combo system. See, this is such cheap crap, man. I got, like, impatient. You can definitely tell because I started tapping the button faster. If I'm calm when I'm fighting oh, in this game, I time my hits. But you know that Titan really adds edge to it because you're wanting to take him out Titan. fast. But then you got like 20 guys on screen. Plus, you have a smaller space for this low, uh, this area of the game to fight, so you can't constantly see every enemy. But like I said, it was definitely my fault that I died. Oh, that was great. Also, um, Batman Begins, a uh, video game for it, too. We have it, don't we? Yeah. I beat it, and then for some reason all my data got erased. Oh. But it had, like, different suits and everything, so it's kind of like the precursor to the Arkham games. Doesn't it start off someplace getting burned to the ground? Yeah, it, it doesn't go by the storyline of the movie. Which is a good thing. Because it uh, expands on the... And it gives its, gives it its own little, you know, stuff to work with. Kind of, kind of similar to uh, that Spider-Man, Amazing Spider-Man game, that it was supposed to be a continuation, like the, and yeah. then they're like, uh, whoa, no. that's a bad idea. Because the game didn't really receive well. I don't know, I, th I thought the controls were good. I hated the webbing. Like, you know, we were talking about Spider-Man 2 a little bit ago. You could control how your webbing went. Which, uh, they definitely fixed that in Sp Amazing Spider-Man 2, but everything else sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Anyway, we will see you guys in the next one. Please hit that like and subscribe button. And if you didn't like something about this video, please leave a comment about what you didn't like. Thank you.